I'm, I'm looking at society today, and it's like I'm watching an X-Men movie uh, with people that, when you watch the X-Men movies for Marvel Comics, it's like we have mutants living among us on planet Earth. And, you know, some people don't like that, but that's a fact. There is so much darkness in our world today. So much evil in our world today. And so many people who are afraid to address the evil, the dysphoria, the dysfunction. I'm not afraid to address the dysphoria or the dysfunction. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and per per parade before us. That's right. I called you demons and imps who come and parade before us and pretend that you are part of this world. Whoa, what was that? That's right. I called you demons and imps who come and parade before us and pretend that you are part of this world. Representative Webster Barnaby unleashed an unhinged transphobic rant during a committee hearing calling transgender Floridians mutants, demons, and imps. So I guess Republicans are just saying the quiet part out loud now. Republican leaders in Florida are trying to pass House Bill 1521, which would criminalize trans people who use a bathroom that doesn't align with the sex that they were assigned at birth. This is just one of several bathroom bills that are gaining traction in conservative-leaning states. But let's call it what it really is, a transgender bathroom ban bill that's aimed at punishing the trans community. It's not only moronic and transphobic, but there are no standards on how to implement and enforce this bill. Are you going to deputize the public? So you're now going to tell the public after you rile them up with all your tweets and all your memes that trans people are trying to hurt their children, now tell them that they can now walk into the bathroom and check someone's genitals. A better way to say this is who's going to check all of our panties? Are y'all going to check my panties? Who is going to dare go check my daughter's pull up? Because that is one of those fafo moments that's really big and very important. I think anyone with a, chi with a child would say the same thing. Republicans never think their laws through. They drum up their base with fear mongering and then refuse to take responsibility when their plan inevitably shits the bed. I don't know what genitals you have under your clothes and I don't know what's on your birth certificate. And frankly, that information is none of my business. This bill is ridiculous because it's practically unenforceable on the day-to-day -day level. But when it is enforced, it's designed solely to segregate and discriminate against trans people. And it's the opposite of safety for them. Republicans are the same group of snowflakes who whine about big government overreach, but then use big government overreach to tell people what bathroom they can go into. It's simple, really. Republicans just need to keep their hands out of other people's pants and mind their own f business. You know, for a group that claims Democrats are groomers and pedophiles, Republicans sure are obsessed with inspecting other people's genitalia. But when you realize the Republican Party is full of groomers, pedophiles, and sexual predators, their projection makes total sense. Republicans rely heavily on using fake outrage and debunk transphobic bathroom myths to push their hateful agenda. In fact, according to a 2018 study, there is no evidence that letting transgender people use public facilities that align with their gender identity increases safety risks for others. You would only be regulating law-abiding trans people that just want to pee. There's no need for that. You're not going to stop the bad guys that want to assault women in restrooms because those are cis men. We, we do not have some problem with trans folks assaulting people in bathrooms. That's not happening. There is a problem with cis men. Maybe address thank, that thank, problem. Thank and another study found that transgender teens in schools with bathroom restrictions are actually at a higher risk of sexual assault. In my high school, I knew a few trans kids, and they would literally have their friends act as bodyguards for them to go to the bathroom. They would have to coordinate and hold it for hours until they were able to do so. And again, I find it rich that the Republican Party, who loves to complain about the government invading their their privacy is perfectly content with invading the privacy of the trans community. The Republican Party's weird obsession with the trans community is actually going to make people less safe. And this bill is just one of a series of proposals that Republicans are moving through the legislature to attack trans people. Why are you so obsessed with me? The bathroom ban is as useless as the Republican Party itself. I urge you to Google the repercussions of this same ban in North Carolina. Bathroom bans are bad for business.
Trans people have always been here, they will always be here, and they will always use the bathroom. This is just another solution in search of a problem. Much like all the other oppressive bills making their way through this session, this will have unintended consequences, even outside of the queer community, and I urge you to vote down on this bill. In 2016, North Carolina enacted a similar bill, which faced widespread blowback from businesses, the NBA, and the NCAA. And eventually, the law was repealed. Look, there are endless issues, actual issues that Republicans could be focused on, but instead, they're trying to be the pediatric penis police. But that's not stopping Republicans like Representative Webster Barnaby from going off on a vitriolic rant against trans people. I'm, I'm looking at society today, and it's like I'm watching an X-Men movie uh, with people that, when you watch the X-Men movies, for Marvel Comics, it's like we have mutants living among us on planet Earth. And, you know, some people don't like that, but that's a fact. We have people that live among us today on planet Earth that are happy to display themselves as if they were mutants from another planet. This is the planet Earth where God created men, male, and women, female. I'm a proud Christian conservative Republican. I'm not on the fence. Barnaby's whole rant is a perfect example of a Republican claiming to be a Christian and then immediately attacking a fellow human just for existing. So much for following the word of God and loving thy neighbor, I guess. There is so much darkness in our world today. So much evil in our world today. And so many people who are afraid to address the evil, the dysphoria, the dysfunction. I'm not afraid to address the dysphoria or the dysfunction. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and par par parade before us. That's right. I called you demons and imps who come and parade before us and pretend that you are part of this world. So I'm, I'm saying my righteous indignation is stirred. I am sick and tired of this. We, I'm not going to put up with it. You can test me and try to take me on, but I promise you I'll win every time. He directly compared trans people to mutants and X-Men and then called the trans people in the room demons and imps. I mean, it's almost like Barnaby was trying to reenact a scene from the first X-Men movie. I think the American people deserve the right to decide whether they want their children to be in school with mutants, to be taught by mutants. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth is that mutants are very real and they are among us. We must know who they are and above all, we must know what they can do. The X-Men are about fighting against racism and bigotry, striving to make society better for every group of people that the majority tries to destroy and oppress. Which means that Barnaby watched X-Men and then just actively decided that he wanted to be the villain, Dr. Bolivar Trask. And this is exactly what triggered Bigot Barnaby to go off on his bizarre transphobic tirade. When I need to use the bathroom at school, who do you propose regulates which door I go through? If you want adults checking the genitalia of students, I would worry who here is the real predator and who is the real victim. I trust trans people. It's Republicans you need to look out for. How do we expect to enforce this transphobic legislation? Because I don't want people looking at my genitals because that would make y'all pedophiles. I don't want a human centipede of a government telling me where or where not I can pee. As defined within the bill, people of in the restroom corresponding to the opposite sex, which for trans people would be the restroom corresponding to their gender, would be endangering other people in the restroom to the point where others are able to actually have precedence over them in the restroom. This creates a huge civil thank, rights thank issue. You. This bill is dangerous and has the potential to tra traumatize anyone that identifies as female. Because uh, let's be honest that this bill is made in trans misogyny being against trans feminine folks that aren't seen as cis passing in society. Uh, it was made uh, in this unreal fear that men are in the women's bathroom and then these so-called men are cisgender men and not trans women. Good afternoon. My name is Caleb Popson Garcia. I'm a trans man. 
This bathroom ban is just another piece of the nationally coordinated effort by far-right Christian billionaires like Betsy DeVos to erase trans people from society because we do not fit into a narrow, religiously motivated worldview. Transgender people are Floridians. We're students, workers, and business leaders. We're parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, and children. We work hard. We contribute to our communities. We pay more in taxes than the far-right billionaires who fund the AstroTurf campaigns do. These are the exact kind of bills designed to put my life in danger. And in fact, I've legally changed my gender marker from female to male. It says male on my driver's license. If I am legally male, how would they prove that I am transgender? Are the police going to make me pull my pants down? I wish you were obsessed with housing, healthcare, education, and corporate taxes, or you are with the genitals of men like me. Thank you. This bill is testimony. extreme, it's dangerous, it's creepy. Thank Vote you. no. This is what Barnaby got so upset about. Testimony from LGBTQ advocates and transgender people who oppose the measure. It was an excuse for Barnaby to punch down on a group that's already taken a beating from other progressive states across the country. It should be noted that Barnaby later apologized for making the hateful comments, but let's be honest. He meant what he said. Look, I know Barnaby supported the Don't Say Gay bill and that he also hates Disney, but I think he could actually learn an important lesson from Bambi. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Oh, and here's a thought. Maybe instead of attacking a minority group that has a long history of being beaten down both verbally and physically, you sit, listen, and most importantly, keep your mouth shut. Remember, when people tell you who they are, believe them. Well, until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That? If you enjoyed today's episode and want to support the work that goes into creating the What Was That show, you can join my Patreon at whatwasthatshow.com. You'll get access to early episodes, exclusive bits, behind-the-scenes content, access to the show's private Discord, as well as live Q&As to connect directly with me to offer up comments, questions, and suggested topics to be featured on the show. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you over on Patreon.